Now it's time. Let's see what's inside. Okay, another wonderful Oris box. Nice and black. We do have, again, gonna be all your driver and warranty information, your product uh, registration card. If you take a look inside, you know, most people kind of skip over this, but take a look at it sometimes. You might learn some stuff, especially warranty card. It's very convenient, it's a four year warranty. We have a QR code on the back. All you need to do is scan it. and It'll take you right where you need to go. Over here, we have the installation guide as well as the quick start guide. So the installation guide, you might think, hey, I've installed a dozen of graphics cards before. Why do I need this? And one thing that we didn't mention in the 4090 video, but it also comes with our uh, RTX 4090s, is you're gonna get a bracket in here. So the bracket helps reduce your GPU sag. It'll help keep your motherboard nice and safe along with your card itself. So go ahead and take a look. It'll help you install it. Not everyone's familiar with every format of GPU bracket. So since it's included, definitely take a look when you're doing your install. Next up, here it is. We just talked about it and now we have it. This is gonna be the bracket. Um, if you remember from last time, it kind of attaches to your motherboard and then you can use it and it kind of hooks onto your graphics card to help support it. You get a cool or as badge. I know everyone uh, very excited for that piece. And then we have our 16 pin adapter cable. All right, so here we have it. RTX 4080 Master in the flesh. You'll see it resembles our 4090 Master, of course. It's also a very large card, but you'll see it kind of has a slope profile. So it's a little bit different looking just to get some differentiation in here, but it has a cool back plate. Once again, it's gonna have the Oris logo and design on it. Um, team up fight on, I was like that part. It's in the foil lettering, we got our logo. And mainly it's just a shroud with some of the uh, aesthetics on it. You'll notice right away, we got a little bit of texture on the fans and that is the Bionic Shark fan. We'll go into that into a little bit more detail later. And again, you'll notice a lot of our enhanced thermal solutions that we put on our graphics cards. So once again, what you're gonna see is gonna be fourth generation tensor cores and third generation ray tracing cores. And what those do is basically give you the best possible visual experience you can. Um, the tensor cores, this is where you're getting a lot of your AI powered stuff, uh, such as NVIDIA DLSS3 and NVIDIA Reflex. Um, when it comes down to ray tracing cores, you know, you're probably familiar, you know, you walk around outside, you see lights, shadows, your highlights, and you know, what does all that? And how does that translate into giving you the true illusion of a realistic scene? Ray tracing cores helps calculate all those different angles and points of light, the different reflections, and how it's interpreted on your monitor. So the more ray tracing you have, the better lighting, more realistic effects you're gonna have. The more tensor cores you have, the more enhanced and AI upscaling and optimizations you're gonna have. So with those two new technologies, we're seeing uh, pretty good performance in, you know, in gaming, uh, in, you know, if you're on the creative side of stuff, and we'll get into that with the later model, um, but it's gonna have a lot of optimized creative apps that you can use and help kind of propel you and optimize your, um, your workflow. So first off, let's get into one of the coolest new features are shark blade fans. If you guys missed it in our previous video, what it means is that all of our fans are redesigned now. Um, it's a 110 millimeter fan and there's three of them. And you'll notice that each of them has that texture and they mimic shark skin. So they are, they are bionic shark fans. And what it actually does is not only shape of the fan, but the surface of the fan blade has been redesigned for this generation and it reduces your decibels when you're running, um, you know, when you're running under heavy loads. And it also increases the static air pressure. So it moves more air across the heat sink. So as it pushes it down, you'll channel more cool air through the fins, therefore increasing your heat dissipation. So very similar to our 4090, you're gonna see an extra large vapor chamber. And this is covering all the critical components right here which is your GPU, your VRMs, um, your memories. And that's connected to these 
uh, the system of 10 copper heat pipes, which is channeling all that heat to our extra large heat sink. So that's one of the base, it's basically the main cause of the bulkiness of the 40 series cards. And if you take a look at the end here, we have our screen cooling. So all that heat is getting passed from the chamber to the pipes, all the way to the heat sink. And the larger heat sink gives it a larger contact surface area with the cool air. And that's how you increase your cooling abilities. So now if you take a look on the back, we got another four display outs. It's gonna be very similar design. It's three DisplayPort 1.4s and one HDMI 2.1. On the top, it's a little bit hard to see. There's our dual bio switch. And once again, this is for OC mode and silent. And those are exactly as you expect them to be. One will give you more power and one will cut the power a little bit to give you a little bit more of a silent running uh, type of operation. If you check it out at the top, I'm sure a lot of you will recognize by now, this is the new 16 pin power cable um, introduced on 40 series cards. Earlier, you guys saw from the box, we do come with the adapter. So if your power supply did not already include the 16 pin cable, you will be able to use the adapter for any existing PSUs and uh, power your card. Last but not least, I do want to get into another feature that's on this fan. So it might be a little hard to see on camera, but you got a little bump at the end. And what this does is it's actually part of our Halo RGB lighting system. So when the fan blades spin, these light up and they create different patterns with which you can control through RGB fusion. And one other thing that you're going to be able to find um, in it, Gigabyte Control Center is gonna be something called LCD display. What does that mean? We do have a customizable LCD screen right here. And you can do some of the fan favorites like Chibi Time, which is a little animation of our Oris Chibi. You can check out the uh, temperatures and some of the relevant information that you might wanna see about the performance of your card. So you heard me talk about Video DLSS technology and Video Reflex early on but we didn't really get to go into kind of the details of what it is and why you would benefit from it for 40 series versus 30 series. So if you're familiar with NVIDIA DLSS technology, you'll know that's the AI upscaling. So with 40 series, you're really looking at uh, a lot better improvements. So it's giving you better gaming performance. So these two technologies combined, you know, along with the raw power and gaming aesthetics, provides a really good gaming solution for those of you looking to game in 4K, do really good 2K gaming, or you just wanna smash on 1080p, you know, this could be your pick. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, brief video that we had on our 4080 Master. Are you trying to decide on which 4070 Ti to buy? Check out this clip from our recent stream. Yes, so this is the ROG Strix GeForce RTX 4070 Ti. Um, this uh, is uh, it installed on my PC. I've got this sweet, sweet blue and red Aura Sync uh, theme that I created with Aura Creator to match the blue and red on the bottom of the card. And we got these really nice blue and black cables from Cable Mod as well uh, that really just tie the whole thing together love it um so this strict we've talked about the 4090 and the 4080 on the stream already mm -hmm. um and those are uh those were kind of the exact same size and build the 4070 ti is actually a little bit different of a build so um it's using the same ada lovelace architecture as the 4080 and the 4090 obviously it's got the fourth gen tensor cores the third gen rt cores so you're going to get Better ray tracing performance, better DLSS and all that. It's got DLSS 3, which we will be looking at in a little bit. Unlike the other cards, though, this has a base TGP of only 285 watts, which is a lot less than like the 450 watts that we saw on the 4090. Um, so 
I think you have a clip of me showing off this versus my tough 4090. So I fortunately don't have a Strix 4090 here. Um, and I couldn't show this off on stream because it's installed in my PC. But there's the card. That's it the 4070 awesome. Ti. Yep. This is the 4070 Ti, and I'm going to be comparing it to my tough 4090. Uh, the Strix card is a little bit um, slimmer and a little bit shorter. So it's still using the same die cast shroud um, frame and back plate, but it's uh, 336 millimeters long. And it's 3.15 slots versus the 3.5 slots on the Strix 4080 and 4090. And I think the tough, the tough 4090 that I'm about to show off is a little bit uh, thicker. It's got all of the features that you've come to expect from a Strix card. So it's got those uh, fan connect headers that I just showed off. It's got a 16-pin power connector and a dual BIOS switch. Uh, so you can switch between performance mode and a slightly quieter mode if you're into silence. It's got that huge vent on the back with that dope-looking ROG logo. I'm like kind of weirdly obsessed with that vent. It's so cool looking. And I like that like, you know, a few years ago, a lot of GPU manufacturers didn't put a lot of uh, design effort into the back of the card, right? But now these back plates look so They don't so leave anything cool. untouched now. Yeah, look at that size I know, difference. and that's cool because the back plate is what you see. Like that's the part I want to look cool. Yeah, so it's, it's, it is a little bit smaller than the 4090, which is nice. And it, it's kind of hard to show off in a video, but like if you're holding them in your hands, it actually does feel significant smaller um but again it's got all of those same features that you'd hope for it's got the aura sync rgb on the little republic of gamers logo here and on the edge of the card um it does come with a bundled graphics card holder which i don't think you can see in the video you can see it just a little bit right down here it's holding up my card it's got a little rog logo it's pretty cool um and uh you know it's got our zero db technology so when you're not running games those fans aren't going to spin at all it's going to be super quiet um and uh, yeah, reliable power delivery. There is a tough version of this that is 3.25 slots. Our tough cards are a little bit thicker uh, than the Strix cards. Um, but yeah, it is it is a beauty. And I'll tell you, the thing about the Strix cards that I love, and I, I, I kind of want to show this off, but it might be a little bit janky as I tilt my camera here. Check out this case that I'm using, okay? So I've got um, two intake fans in the front and then two intake fans in the bottom there, actually. And then actually I drilled a hole up here in the top of the case for intake as well. So when my CPU was air cooled not that long ago, I would have fresh air coming in from the top and going through to the air cooler. And these bottom fans actually had more of an effect on GPU temperatures, as you'd expect, than they did CPU temperatures. So, you know, I can hook them up to my motherboard and have them fluctuate with my CPU temperatures. But what would really be useful is for those bottom fans to ramp up when the GPU ramps up. And that is what those fan connector, uh, fan connect headers on the back of the Strix GPUs are so awesome for, because then you can fire up GPU tweak and, and match the, those external fans to your GPU usage. The tough Pretty cards sick. do not have this. A lot of other manufacturers do not have this. That is really, really cool, especially if you have kind of a unique case design and, and certain fans are pointing toward the GPU. That's like a really useful feature. I don't have it hooked up right now because this card is only in my machine temporarily and I didn't want to reroute all my cables. But back when I had a Strix card, it was awesome um, as my daily driver. Uh, again, because this is only 285 watts, you might um, be able to use the existing power supply that you have. But if you need uh, an upgraded power supply for this, um, I would definitely look at our ROG Thor 850 watt Platinum 2. Um, as well as our ROG Strix 850 watt Gold Edition Aura, which is I'm actually what I'm using. Um, I'm using the new Gold Edition Aura, and uh, we also have the ROG Loki coming out if you're doing a small form factor build. And actually, because this card is a bit smaller, you might be able to fit it into some mini ITX cases. Uh, I, th and, I think so. Just looking at it, sweet, sweet machine. <laughs> and I do want to just like stress like how much smaller the Loki is. It's actually uh, you look at a picture of the Loki and it doesn't necessarily look smaller, but once you see it in person, you're like, oh my goodness, it's adorable. It's actually it is, the yeah. little brother to the Thor. And it yeah, and it's perfect for a small form factor build. Um, yeah, and and it's going to be a great pairing with this particular card too. Yeah. So that's that's the Strix card in a nutshell. I I don't know. Maybe I'm spoiled. But after our, I bought a, my first Strix card was, I think, a 970 back in the day. And after, after using a card that has, like, cooling that good and that many features, it's really hard to go back to anything else. Um, so I have been just kind of a fanboy of Strix cards ever since uh, because they just are the best. That is the Strix card. I highly, highly recommend checking it out if you are looking for a new 40 series card. But... I also want to take a look at the actual performance of this 4070 Ti because 
I got to tell you, I was kind of shocked and blown away by how this card performs. So uh, let's take a look. I'm just going to do a quick Time Spy Extreme run just to kind of show the kind of average overall performance. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is our score. My score is probably a little bit lower than I was testing this week because I'm doing some video capture and stuff like that. Um, this is uh, just over 10,000. I was actually getting closer to 11,000, 10,994 when I tested it on kind of a clean system with nothing else running. That is crazy for a 70 tier card because that is uh, the same level as a 3090 Ti. Hmm. So with this card, you're getting the performance of around a 3090 Ti, which is a 450 watt card. This is 285 watts. So way less power consumption with the same performance Huge. and extra features like DLSS 3. But man, if I were buying a card today, this 4070 Ti would be a contender. Thanks for watching our tour of the ROG Strix GeForce RTX 4070 Ti. If you like the video, please click on the like button, write a comment, and subscribe to my channel.